My name is Amal Kotlarski with Jane's by RHS Market. We're here at uh, DSCR 2019 in London at the Six Hour booth. I'm here with Ronnie Cohen, President and CEO of Six Hour. And Ron is going to be taking us through the uh, MG68, part of uh, Six Hour's offering for the new US Army Next Generation Squad Weapon. Hi, uh, well, at the core of our, of our submission really is a one key issue, which is our ammunition. The basis of making a leap in weaponry for infantry is energy in ammunition. What SIG has done is create a proprietary new round that we call the hybrid ammunition. What it combines is 170 years of knowledge with brass and how to feed brass and how to create ammunition that's reliable and accurate. We, and we solved one problem that's been plaguing ammunition for generations, which is energy, the ability to extract more energy per size. By integrating a steel base, we've been able to solve the one problem that's been plaguing ammo, which is energy. And if the mission is enhanced lethality, we can get enhanced lethality by creating a hybrid case. The hybrid case provides an ability to increase energy dramatically. So we can today boost energy of the round of the bullet by a factor of 50-60%. And that is done while creating something that's unheard of. We are actually reducing the weight of ammunition by at least 20%. By reducing the weight 20% and increasing energy, we are solving a riddle that's been plaguing us for a long time. So that's really at the core of our submission. That is done with one condition that we wanted to maintain. We did not want to destroy the industrial base of ammunition manufacturing all over the world. Our ammunition submission is something that's easily adaptable by every country around the world because the, the basis of manufacturing brass and bullets and crimping them together has been around since 1840. That's at the core of our submission. Everything beyond that is SIG's ability to manufacturing weapons and silencers and optics together. And what we've done is we've taken the approach of let's modernize, let's modernize a machine gun. And we took a machine gun that inherently has tremendous amount of recoil and is hard to carry, whether it's a 240 or 249 that weigh a 27 and 18, 19 respectively. And we brought a gun that meets the requirement at 12 pounds, which is 5, 5.1 kilo, and reduce the recoil so it's almost indiscriminable from a rifle. So this machine gun weighs 5.1 kilo and has recoil of an M4. That is the delivery mechanism of this ammunition. And in order to reduce risk to the user, the controls are M4 based. So if you've ever shot an M4, you can shoot this machine gun. The machine gun folds. So you have a small uh, footprint. Paul, if you could uh, just show us, uh, you can fold the gun. You could fold the gun. So you have a gun that weighs 5.1 kilo. The recoil is a recoil of a rifle, not a machine gun which is 13 plus, this is two and a half pounds per square inch. And at the end of that, you have a suppressor that reduce backflow to reduce harmful carcinogenous uh, materials. So we protect the health of the shooter. We give you the mobility of, of basically a rifle. And to end with that, We've also provided a solution of a fire control system that is actually on our bigger rifle, bigger machine gun. This is a complete fire control system that gives you a range 
of 1,200 meters right now, any target in that range, you just laze with this system and your first round will be a target. This enables you to get round on target, round one. And that gives you the lethality because you could actually hit. Lethality means one, penetration with our ammo. Two, is the mobility because the gun is lighter. In this case, in this case it's a 338. This gun weighs 19 and a half pounds which is dramatically lighter than a 240 and it, it allows you to shoot a 338 Norma. 338 Norma gives you energy on target at 1500 meter similar to a 50 cal. So you could take down a soft vehicle or, or a human target at 1500 meter. This sight fire control system enables you to actually hit target without spending 100 rounds getting there. So the combination of this gun and the next gen submission gun is SIG's interpretation of how to make products in the small arms dramatically more lethal while reducing the payload on a soldier and reducing the harmful uh, chemicals that flow back into our face, still enabling us to reduce signature and noise. So what we think is going on right now is a game-changing technology and it's a really a revolutionary time. Small arms in the next 10 years will do a leap that hasn't been done in uh, decades. And that's where we are today.